Hi everyone. Today, I will delve into the intriguing topic of human-robot relationships. Personally, I firmly believe that robots can serve as not only partners but also lovers. Contributing significantly to our lives, potentially up to 100%. Now, let's explore how this idea operates and why it has become an integral part of our existence in the 21st century. In reality, our living environment has undergone substantial changes, encompassing factors such as aging, gender imbalances, business transformations, market saturation, and the digitization era. Particularly noteworthy are the economic recessions and the challenges posed by digitized living that we've encountered over the past few decades. To better understand this evolution, let's take a historical perspective over the past century and examine the impact of certain inventions on our country's marketing and economy. Consider the Wright brothers' invention of the aircraft in 1867, Carl Friedrich Benz's creation of the automobile, and the groundbreaking work of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates in the realm of computers. Astonishingly, these inventions continue to wield a positive influence on our society and economy today. To substantiate this, one need only glance at data reports available on various online platforms. The export quantities of cars and computers exceeded billions in 2021 underscoring the enduring impact of these innovations. Moving on to the next issue, digitized living has resulted in a shortage of physical social activities. This is primarily due to the current trend of people learning, working, and seeking entertainment online from the comfort of their homes. While this facilitates easy access to information, it also means individuals may not invest time, money, and emotion in long-lasting relationships. According to a University of Washington study, millions of U.S. workers are expected to transition to fully remote work in the coming years. The pressing question becomes, who can address our psychological and physical needs in this digitized way of life? Examining the data, we observe a significant increase in doll exports from China, exceeding 60 billion yuan in 2020 during the COVID-19 period. This suggests a growing market for alternatives that can potentially fulfill emotional needs in an increasingly virtual world. In past few years, I got some elders email from Global. They live alone and want to talk with people. They told me robots should be good for them in living. In 2021 the report shows us. About 33% of adults experienced feelings of loneliness worldwide. That's why people seek solace in purchasing toys to temporarily fulfill their needs from the market. Additionally, these factors are closely intertwined with the concept of a robot lover. Drawing on observable trends. Countries worldwide have shown a keen interest in the development of intelligent robots and their applications in recent years. In a manner reminiscent of the car and aircraft industry, robot development projects share a similar long life cycle, making them less easily substitutable. The key to mastering new industries in the future lies in the early development of robot technology. Intelligent, lifelike robots have the potential to spearhead global advancements, aiding economies once again. This influence extends into the next century, ensuring the sustainability of innovative technology development and fostering new growth in art, engineering, programming, and industrial production. Additionally, Developers are poised to design software and hardware tailored for multi-task applications catering to diverse human needs. Take, for instance, the healthcare sector, where robots can assist doctors and nurses during surgeries. Through remote monitoring in medical wards, these robots play a crucial role in preventing the spread of infections. Providing round-the-clock care to patients. In situations where patients are in isolation, the robot becomes a source of comfort, alleviating feelings of loneliness by engaging in conversations. 
Furthermore, the integration of robots into our social environment extends to working from home, where they can assist with various psychological and physical needs. This includes tasks like housework, caring for the elderly and pets, teaching children, and ensuring home security through face recognition. Moreover, these robots are designed for seamless communication with users, providing assistance whenever required. Users can even personalize the appearance of their robots according to their preferences. Unconsciously, we find solace in our life like robots, projecting a sense of comfort onto them. Presently, lifelike humanoid sex dolls with integrated AI systems are becoming increasingly relevant for work applications. Their potential impact includes a reduction in sexual crimes, a decrease in sexually transmitted diseases, and the creation of new job opportunities in the market. Indeed, robots are evolving to become our friends, assistants, helpers, and even lovers seamlessly transitioning from the virtual realm to reality. I firmly believe that robots can assist people in maintaining their social skills, becoming an integral part of our lives and aiding us in facing future challenges. In reality, companies, universities, and organizations are investing billions in the development of robots. However, who will be able to afford these high-priced robots in the emerging market? Through my research and analysis, I have identified education as a key solution for the development of robots. It is crucial to educate people from the ground up, fostering awareness and skills. Consequently, I initiated the development and standardization of robot weight, height, and adaptable design features for my robot project in 2018. Looking toward the future, the ideal direction for robot development, based on my research and development, involves categorizing humanoid robots into two types, armor shells designed for industrial purposes and life-like robots tailored for public use. However, life-like robots are primarily tailored for the vast global market. This preference stems from our innate desire to engage in conversation, be it with people, pets, or even non-real entities. Especially during solitary moments. When given the choice, we seldom opt to converse with inanimate objects like walls or chairs. A poignant example is Tom Hanks in the movie, Cast Away, where he communicates with a volleyball named, Wilson. Consider a future scenario. During a space research vacation where your only companions are a robot and another human. The choice between a lifelike robot and an armor shell robot for the space trip is straightforward, the lifelike robot. This decision is rooted in human psychology. Consequently, my focus is on developing lifelike robot types. Furthermore, lifelike robots eliminate the need for modifying or customizing existing facilities in our current environment. In my design approach, Users can select their preferred face, body, and accessories, allowing for creative mixing and matching. Moreover, customization extends to altering any part, torso, function, and even self-repair in the coming years. This not only stimulates creativity, but also enables individuals to create their unique robots, possibly even serving as personal companions. Importantly, this can be achieved at a low cost, comparable to the price of a car in the future. Personally, I believe that lifelike robots present a viable solution to challenges spanning over a century. The pros outweigh the cons. With the potential for these robots to simulate our emotions and actions. As AI continues to evolve, it will enhance emotional sophistication, approaching a level close to human emotions. However, it's essential to recognize that our affection for robots is a mere reflection of emotions. Robots, in my view, should serve as home helpers, temporary companions, and assistants, among other roles. I believe that sex tech is just one facet of their multifunctionality.
While it cannot replace genuine love, it can certainly provide solace for temporary needs. The emergence of new industries is bound to shape our future, and the development of robots should adhere to legal frameworks. The personal and private use of robots is subjective and should be decided by individual preferences. In conclusion, I wish you all good health and the experience of true love. If you're interested in updates on my robots or my upcoming robot book, you can scan the QR code or visit the website link. Thank you.